I'm going to show you a new feature in the EV production suite, and that is the modular assets. That's pretty cool. Here you see an example in my uh, Twitter. That's really great. So you have 150 or more modular assets. You can snap them together to make your own thing, your own environment. Here you see an other example. And that works with GitOps, it works with Decom machine. Um, so you can make booleans also. And uh, if you have the full suite, you can then also apply all the materials. First, I will show you how you can download it. So you go to Blender Market, you click on your name. Of course, you have another name than me. But you click on your name, and click on orders. Then you look for the EV production suite over here. And you click on this uh, orange button, go to downloads. And you should see here EV Express 10.4.1. And that's the one uh, you need. That's included in the full suite because we feel it belongs over there, not only the EV Express or the material nodes. So that's something that is part of the full suite. It is based on the Level Builder. Level Builder was a great add on. Uh, but the stop development stopped uh, two years ago and was, I think, the, the, I'm pretty sure it's the fastest way to block out your model. It is not very well known, but uh, I love this add-on. But the developer stopped uh, working on it for two years. <laughs> he started two years and he stopped two years. So you can see it on the ratings and, and people are asking, yeah, where are the updates? So and that... Uh, happened already a year ago. So then we thought about that concept and we made our own version of it. And here it is. So let's jump into Blender. So here we have Blender. I built already something. Let's get rid of that. So I go to top art graphic mode, select all that and press delete. So here is the EV Express that is part of the EV production suite and you can find it in the UI over there. It's called Asset Libraries and there is already a library uh, already um, loaded. So you see here the button selector, if you click on that, then you see and that, and here are all these categories. I recommend to start with a quite uh, full screen because if you start like this or like that and you click on selector then it will overlap a bit. Um, oh, actually you can, you can do this. I didn't know that. So you can do that. Uh, so okay. So you got all these categories. I just click uh, quick. I just click quickly from us. No barriers. Uh, baseboard, so you have that uh, those uh, ridges on the wall. Seal mount uh, to put the cables uh, in on the ceiling and conversions to go from one unit to another one. Loads of floors and uh, there's a modular uh, corridor. Uh, some panels. And these spirals are very big. You want to use poles instead. Uh, primitives uh, to make booleans or do all things um, that's uh, railings and there's also model aspect very nice because it has a lot of curves and um, you can put these beside the path and there's a template to build your own model asset so if you want to build your own model assets you get this template you build around these um, these uh, Templates and then you, you will be sure that everything was not together. And you get here a bunch of uh, walls. So let's uh, take a look at this one. So we have here the corridor. If I click on this, you see a big uh, grid. So you see uh, the, the world curves are over there. So let's put that uh, there. And I can get, keep on clicking. Keep on clicking. Now, uh, when I scroll with the mouse, well, nothing happens. And so, but if you want to navigate into your 3D viewport, you click on the slash, the backslash that is next to the left shift key. So there's a backslash if I press that. So now I can press my middle mouse button to turn around and I can scroll. If I also press the shift key and then the middle mouse button, I can pan around. 
So I can zoom in like that, so I have a better view. I release the uh, backslash, there I have the grid again, and then I can move my asset around like that. No, when I press uh, to root, uh, rotate things around, I can press the arrow keys. If I press the left arrow, you see it rotates around a particular point like that. So, and then you can uh, snap things around like that. All right, and if you press the up and down key, you go up one unit or you go down one unit. So, like that. If you, if you press right click, then you get rid of that. And so, so that is pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, let's check I want to show you some handy tricks you can use. So you see, I have not the, the magnet on, but I have my grid snappings here. I set to increment, absolute grid snap, move, rotate and scale. That means if I go, for example, in top view, I press five and then seven on the number of keypad. I select uh, this one. If I press G, I can move freely around. But if I press down the control key, you see, I'm starting to snap. That's uh, pretty nice. So um, you see, there is nothing active selected. So because the, those are both orange. So when I press Shift and then I click, now this one is active. If I press now on the um, on the full stop on my key, on my uh, not the number key, but the full stop on the on the keyboard. If I press that, then I see this pie menu. And here you see active element. Oh, by default, it's a medium point, but uh, here it's um, often it's nice to have it an active element. That means if I press R, and then I move around that active element. If I uh, press Control, then uh, I've, I've, uh, if I press Control, you see I'm snapping again. So that's that's very very handy. So I press G and uh, snap. So best is to um, press uh, the full stop and put active element because sometimes you have a bunch of um, assets and there might be an asset that has a snap point somewhere else. So you want to be sure that uh, yeah you will find it out. But um, you can play around with that uh, full stop. So that's that. And then I want to show you something about the poles. So uh, to open the grid, you can press selector, but you can also press shift and then enter. And then you see also that uh, and the, that uh, menu. So I can actually, I can uh, remove the, the sidebar by pressing N. I can use shift, enter, and then I have that nice uh, view over here. Um, let's go over here to uh, the Rodec pack. That's pretty nice. That's another pack, but it's still it's, uh, snapping. Snapping like that. See? So these are all, um, everything is, uh, will snap together. So shift enter, shift enter, and then I want to do this. So this doesn't match, so I press the left or the right uh, arrow. And then I can uh, build like that. Build like that, pretty cool. I love it. The super fast and look at the memory. Look at the memory. So you see memory 109 MB. Let's add a lo loads of uh, assets over here. So check what happens with the memory. So at the right uh, button, right button. You see that? Uh, no. Doesn't doesn't go up much. Uh, shift, uh, shift, enter again. Um, let's add something else here like that. And now uh, I want to have more space, so I press my uh, backslash, backslash. I press also shift and the middle mouse button. Yeah, it's tricky, but um, that's screw Works nice if you get the hang out of that. So and then I press the. Um, right or left arrow to rotate around and uh, shift enter and use another one 
Hey, I want to try this one. I'll try that. So, let's do that. So, you see, the, the memory doesn't go up uh, that high because these are all uh, linked and you can build on and on. You can build a very big scene and it barely takes any, any memory. Because I think, yeah, so you see, you cannot edit them. Well, if you want to edit them, you, if you really want to edit them, you can go to object and you that's my trick. You click on object, press R. So you go to relations, you press A. That is make local. And then you press A again. I'm not doing that now because I want to show you, you can just add the procedure shaders. So let's, for example, I want to make this um, uh, marble or so. Marble, press here, and then you see, you see that all these assets, the same assets, get the same material. So that's uh, also pretty cool. Yeah, and if you want to make this um, not linked, so you press, you click an object, and then R, A, and then A again. And then you can go in edit mode, you can do all kinds of things. Uh, it still is sharing the same mesh. So if you click on here, you go over here, then you go to uh, where is that mesh data? This one, this used 15 times. So I think if I click on this one, then it is a single user. I can go in edit mode and then I can click on the face like that. Face, extrude. So now it is only one part, but <clears throat> then the memory goes uh, up if every asset is one single user. So that's the trick, actually. I made some very cool uh, things uh, with that today. So I just uplo uploaded the new feature and um, yeah, I made something like that. Pretty cool. And Things like that. Yeah, you see a decal from uh, GitOps. You can also use uh, the decal machine. Um, but the uh, hard ops. Let's try that out. Actually, so we go over here. Let's see what hard ops can do in this case. So let's select that one. Just to select it. Let's say we add a cube. Bottom, add a cube. Uh, why? So uh, that works. That works. Um, by the way, there are loads of um, uh, primitives already, so you can also use this uh, boolean to make your things. Right. I think that's what I explained. So we can. There are loads of uh, things uh, new and. Uh, if you express it on, that's really awesome. So, <clears throat> there's one thing I want to show you, and that is, if you choose light, right, I show you the workaround, the basic workaround of EV Express. So you have your asset and scene like we did now. You press one of the light setups, that's also what we did. And the very next step is you go to render settings and you press render settings one because that will put the render settings on the best settings uh, known and you have to bake in the right light so and then you go to uh, what's that called that is the render preview and then you have at that moment you have the quality uh, you need so uh, that's that. I think um, I showed you the basic the download, uh, how to work with the new uh, feature. So um, I would say test it out and if you have feedback you can go here to uh, Discord because Discord is actually nice. Uh, you see people are coming in uh, here and um, there's a contest or funny, <laughs> funny pictures. Uh, you can use this poll to let uh, know uh, uh, what you have, or you can just chat or collaborate. 
there's not much uh, yet, but uh, there's a lot of uh, in a Twitter feed always. Um, you can follow all the latest news. Yeah, and um, there are some people coming in. So it's uh, nice if you join there. Uh, you, you will be the first one uh, who have the updates. All right. So thanks for watching. And then uh, have fun with uh, playing around. All right. See you.